What's up, everybody? Matty back with some more LSPDFR. We are rocking again uh, some of our custom EUP that we have in our 5M server. I will be putting uh, the links to uh, the Discord below where you can get that, or actually their website. It's Line Sanctuary that we use, but I put it in a single player here. So we're rocking uh, LSPD Police. Going to be doing a Tahoe today. Uh, do have some more cars from other mods that we will be featuring here in the future. Uh, this is the one I snagged off LSPDFR.com, though. Link will be in the description below. Figured we'd do a little bit of uh, police patrol down here in the city. City. Haven't done uh, much city stuff since we, well, we haven't done one at all since we uh, started doing LSPDFR again. So we're going to go down here, kind of the Grove area, see we just looked ourselves on for calls. Yeah, no, I don't have a problem. It's kind of scary rolling through Grove at the very beginning of our shift, which, as you see, is going to kind of start at night. Uh, the lights, uh, just this time of day, uh, they're just going to look a little bit dim, but as you see, not like it was before in that first video when we got back into it. Oh, well, um, we have a civilian requiring assistance. um, I think I accidentally, uh, accepted that, but it also just said code 4 immediately, so, okay. Uh, we're just going to kind of cruise around Grove, I, uh, according to our handy-dandy little police GPS down there. We got something going on over here, we might as well check it out. Uh, see if we got some sort of illegal activity. We're still on for calls at the moment. Well, it's just a vehicle that's flagged, so I don't know if there's some sort of ALPR stuff. Um, okay, yeah, that's not normal. He does have some underglow on. That's probably part of it, too. We're going to turn ourselves on for calls. I'm not really worried about the underglow, but that was some crap driving. Oh, God. Okay, well, that happened. Lovely. Okay, well, let's just flag him. We'll have to swap some insurance for that little snafu, won't we? But we also need to figure out what is up with that driving. Oh, God. It's going to be one of these. Come on, bus. I'm not after you. Come on. Pulled you over. Oh, this is where we're going to stop. That's what we're calling this? I think not, sir. Well, wish me luck on this. I'm just try not to take out a light pole. Come on. Don't hit the stop. Stop light. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's so finicky. I don't want to hit you. Good. Keep going. I'm having you mimic me. Okay, I guess you don't want to mimic me over more anymore. All right, we'll try this again. Get up a little bit on the sidewalk. All right, that is going to work right there. Just don't move. Don't move. Good God, this guy is an idiot. Okay, so uh, we're going to hop out the vehicle here. Okay, nope, nope, nope. I don't know what this is all about. She hopped out. We're going to try to get back up going here. And uh, let's get this show on the road. We got this dude going. She's running. I'm not too concerned about her right now. Maybe she got a heads up. Hey, I'm about to run. Get out. All right, so we got a visual. We, we've got a first pursuit since we're back in LSPDFR, don't we? This is going to be a very difficult to pit vehicle as well. Oh, don't want to pass on the right. He is taking out signs, running red lights. This dude is going to have charges galore. Okay, come on. Come on. Eh, we know the perps in sight. You know what? We're in the city. Okay, yep. You know what? Go ahead. Take primary. Take primary. Don't really care. Take primary. Let's uh, let's just go ahead and get a uh, local backup from Air 1 in uh, in the skies. Why not? Come on. We got our siren set up. We got plenty. Oh, God. Jeez, dude. All right. We're, we're going to have to take back over primary here in a minute, I think, because this guy is just driving like an idiot in front of us. This sheriff. Um, it's a larger vehicle, so pitting is going to be difficult, but we are in the Tahoe ourselves. Man, these lights look good. All right, well, finally we got the sheriff out the way. Let's see where he's going to go. We're going to try a pit. Oh, God, he's, his speeds are crap here for the pit. All right, that didn't work out. Go on, take primary, take primary. I don't really like that guy being primary because he's driving like a jackass. Uh... I forgot with some of the updates, they made it very difficult to pit vehicles, which is not a bad thing, but it's nearly impossible now. But that means we're going to have to get probably some uh, some spikes set up at some point. We need to go and get our siren back on. There we go. Uh, I'm just looking for a good spot for spikes. We're going to see where he's stopping. We're going to try it. We'll see what happens. Wish us luck. Um, yeah, they did probably a side road here, didn't they? Yep, thanks. Appreciate that, guys. Thanks, thanks, thanks. You put it into the entrance of the hospital. No traffic trying to pit. Pit not successful, not successful. Pretty slow pursuit. We're, uh, we're topping off around 50, 60 miles an hour. Got some larger vehicles in the area. He's slowing down. We're doing about 20. Going to try to pit. Oh, pit somewhat successful. Oh, God. Well, our car is going to have a heck of a fun damage report at the end of this shift already, just off this one call. 
All right, well, we got to try these spikes yet again. Hopefully they put them up somewhere, I don't know, near the vicinity of where we're going to go. All right, looks like they're going to. Which side? Nope, not that side. God, you guys are morons. Okay, well, we're going to keep going. Just keep going. Going to try some more spike strips. That's about all we can do. Wish us luck. All right, we're gonna wait and see which way this guy goes. We're gonna try some more spike strips. Ugh. All right, we might have a shot. Nope, we're not gonna have a shot at this because they keep setting them up in the most idiotic places. Just go, man. Clearly, you don't want me to be primary. We're going for a super pit here. Oh, oh. Rolling roadblock, maybe? Nope. He got out of that one quickly, didn't he? Ugh. We're gonna try maybe a rolling roadblock here, see if we can't get him slowed down. Don't hit that car, and he struck a civilian's vehicle, and our vehicle. Good lord, this guy is racking up charges. He is gonna be going away for a long time. Pit successful, but we couldn't block him. Okay, come on guys, come on, help us out. Now he's just gonna go the other way. Don't mind me there, Sheriff. Man, this is a heck of a pursuit. Oh, God. All right, we got a pit. We got a pit. All right, he's got his hands up. Hands are up. Yep, you will shoot him. I know you will. All right, he's got him out the car. He's got him out the car. We got non-lethal. Get down now. Get down. Get down. Get down. Yeah, we, we're with you. We're, we're glad y'all showed up. We're getting him in cuffs. We got his non-lethal cover here. We should probably uh, have lethal out on that one. Good Lord. Man, what are you doing? Jesus. Hey, he's got to have some serious, serious wants on him for him to do all this crap. All right, let's, uh, I'll pat him down, sir. Thanks for getting those cuffs. Thanks for being here on the call, too. He finally gave up. Uh, we weren't going to worry about Underglow, but you bet your butt we're going to give him that ticket now. <laughs> so a small baggie of cocaine. Pipe with brown powder residue. So if this is all over that, oh, my God. Well, let's check out a ped check real quick from... Mr. John Gibbs, dispatch. We can check that from a date of birth, 25 February, 93. Expired driver's license. No active warrant. All right, people, y'all can shut the sirens up. Good God. All right, let's just go ahead and check Mr. Gibbs here. So, expired by 71 days, no warrant. He has one uh, prior citation for hunting without a license. Let's check the vehicle, see if it was stolen or something. Nope don't have it thankfully those sirens finally shut up good lord um let's go ahead and do a vehicle check while we're here because it wasn't registered in our tablet but it was associated with mr gibbs god our tahoe looks rough all right got a patriot two three king x-ray nor at 900 no flags on it nothing okay well you know what we're gonna come over here do some drug reagency on this stuff that he had on him and we are in some weird weird run with the strobe lights going on kind of disorienting but man it looks good doesn't it um come on nope i don't need that i need to do drug reagency get out of your funky run get out of your funky run all right narcotics field test here we go all right we're gonna check first uh uh well the only thing we got i forgot what the other thing was on him we'll check it uh i know some more drugs though uh brown residue we're gonna try heroin on that on that one see what we've got it's a pipe of brown powder residue Negative for heroin. We'll try uh, cocaine, marijuana. We'll do the whole nine yards. Figure out, remember what that other uh, item was he was carrying on him. We'll get him uh, some charges and some citation, citations, and we'll get back out there for another call. Positive for weed. There you go. All right, so uh, we just left that scene. It ended up by the life invader. Um, and then we've got this guy being marked for whatever and you see he's burning out here we got a granger zero one sulu whiskey golf 859 dispatch what you got outstanding zero more. One zero, William George great <laughs> great 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 <laughs> yeah we're gonna we're gonna we've just uh again our car has seen some much better days here good lord that pursuit took its toll uh we're gonna try to get this guy pulled over we're gonna immediately call back up i don't know what the warranty is for or the warranty <laughs> the warrant uh, so he is pulled over to a somewhat decent spot, but 
with how our luck is going right now, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. So, you know what? We are going to do a uh, felony stop. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do a felony stop back up and just use local units. Assistance required in Rockford Hill. All right, so once they're here on scene, which they're uh, rolling up now, why do you keep sending bike units for this stuff? That's not good. It's not good. Okay, well, okay. Go ahead and open that door back up. Switch that somehow in the middle of that. We're going to go lethal. All right, sir, sir. Yeah, hands up, hands up, hands up. There you go. Looks like they're handling it. We do have one more unit showing up on scene here, as it should have been. Back up to the voice of my, sound of my voice. Stop. All right, we're going to move in get the cuffs on this guy. Yep, hands on the head. Hands on the head. LSPD, hands up! There we go. Go all the way down. Go all the way down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then try to cuff him. Try to cuff him. Got to get in the exact right spot. There we go. Press and hold. There we go. All right, took us a second. All right, sir, I don't know what your warrant's for, but you got flagged for having a warrant. You were doing some kind of burnout stuff there. Not the big deals, the biggest of deals, but... Uh, we just need to make sure everything is going cool with you, all right? Uh, sir, would you mind patting him down? And then uh, while you do that, sir, I need your name. All right, Brian Mulko, March 5th, 76, date of birth. Let's see what we got on that. Outstanding warrant, we know. That is our guy, Brian Mulko. Um, all right, found keys and a lollipop, so no big deal. Let's uh, let's get some more context on this. Pull out our tablet, see what exactly hey, Mr. Mulko here earlier? is wanted for. Vandalism. All right, all this for vandalism. Okay, so that's not that big a deal. You didn't find anything on him, sir. Part of this process, we are going to search your vehicle, so just sit tight. Okay, we do have another person in the vehicle. Hey, ma'am. I haven't been over in weeks. Ma'am. Yeah, just just step out the vehicle for me, okay? We'll we'll deal with you here in a second. We're going to go ahead and search the vehicle. Go ahead and search the vehicle. There we go. Whatever. What did we get? A large bong. Briefcase full of $100 bills. That's interesting. Okay, well, it's got drug paraphernalia and a vandalism uh, warrant. Not the biggest of deals. Let's see what this woman has going on. What's her story? Hey, ma'am, uh, do you mind if I get your uh, your identification, be it driver's license or just a standard ID? Whatever you got, that help. Amanda Love, February 9th, 98. Okay, ma'am, just going to run you in the system real quick. Make sure everything is good. If it is, we'll get you on out of here. So dispatch, if you would go ahead and check that Amanda Love. February 9th of 98 is date of birth. Um, she supposedly has a license, or excuse me, a warrant as well. Um, okay, well, that's interesting. Let's see what this one is all about. So, Miss Amanda Love, what are you wanted for? Let's see. Attempted rape. Jesus. Okay, well, she is not getting out of here. Um, ma'am, I need you to go ahead and face away from me. You're I'm going to be placing arrest. you in cuffs. You have a warrant for your arrest, and for something mysterious, you know what it is. So, good God. Uh, didn't really expect that one. Uh, let's go ahead and pat her down while we're here. Don't ask what happened there, because I truly don't know. So, uh, good God. Let's get some backup out of here. Uh, we need to get a Code 3 EMS. Um, I guess while we're here, we can try to go ahead and search the body. <laughs> we're going to search it, and then we're going to tend to it. I know we should be doing that in opposite order, but... Oh my goodness. Okay, so what she have on her? What did she have? What did she have? She had uh, a few capsules, burnt meth pipe. Good God. Uh, let's see if we can't tend to her. Dude, you're, you're kind of getting in my way here. I'm trying to do work. Trying to do work. Let's see if we can't tend to her. Hopefully we can uh, get her healthy. If not, we do have uh, EMS here. Okay, it was successful, so that's good. We can take her into jail now. <laughs> She needs to uh, make sure she didn't go anywhere. All right, you can just stay seated. Stay seated for me, okay? Don't move, though. Don't move. Okay, so anyway, um, we got to get this whole mess cleaned up. So she had uh, some drugs and uh, a, I think a meth pipe. Uh, there's a bong in the car. He's got a warrant for vandalism. So really what we're going to do here, um, we're going to let him go. We're going to basically issue him a citation for... Uh, for the vandalism, uh, probably for the kind of burning out there a little bit, just for the heck of it. Uh, but we're going to get him that and released. He can be released on his own reconnaissance, uh, reconnaissance, I should say, and then he can appear in court. She, however, with her charges, she's going to jail tonight. So, uh, yeah, so we'll just go ahead and get all these charges written up, and we'll see you back here in a little bit. 
All right, so they're getting these people out of here. Uh, so uh, there's a prison transport. I'll also put that in the uh, description below the off of lspdfor.com. Anyway, get back out there. Attention all units. Gunshots reported. Oh, goodness. Rancho. Shots fired. Rancho. So we got back to the Davis area. Code 3 to shots fired. Let's get down there. Uh, fortunately, last episode, we had the same thing, but no shots were actually ever fired. And the suspect went down without incident. All right. We're here. Oh, God. We got a train coming. We better get off these tracks quick. Okay. So we've got shots fired. Um, she looks awfully aggressive. Okay. Nope. She's a witness. All right. Let's see what she's got to say to us concerning this shots fired call. Hey, ma'am. Hey, ma'am. Hey, ma'am. Uh, so you called about shots fired. Uh, what's going on? I heard a loud bang a few minutes ago. I'm so scared. What kind of bang sound was it? I think it was the sound of a firearm being discharged. I'm pretty sure. Okay, then please stay safe in the house. We're going to take care of this. All right, so uh, you're so stupid. I'm the real suspect. Die, pigs. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Uh, we got shots fired. Shots fired. We're going to call in for some backup here. Uh, wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. Yep, there we go. There we go. Where is she at? Suspect down. Suspect down. Oh, we got another one. Suspect down, maybe down, maybe down, stay down. Good lord, we ended up with two people here. <laughs> they were kind of firefighting each other. Um, I know we took a round there. I think we inadvertently have God mode on. I don't think we got shot enough to uh, end up actually dying on that scene, but that reminds me I need to fix it. All right, we're moving in. Let's clear the weapon, clear the weapon, clear the weapon. She is uh, definitely down. All right, you keep an eye on her. Keep an eye on her. We're going to go clear this suspect and his weapon. Weapon is... Uh, we're just gonna have to say it's secure. Okay, um, let's go ahead and immediately get some EMS out here. We need a couple units stat. Uh, so yeah, let's get, uh, get one. Let's go ahead and get two just in case. Good lord. Okay, well, uh, we knew we were not gonna have peaceful episodes for long. I was shocked it lasted as long as it did. But, um, alright, so while, uh, they're showing up, yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can't search the body at least. See what we can find. Oh, now we pick up the weapon, of course. See what's on this guy. I, as far as I know, he was just a bystander uh, trying to help with the scene, but then he turned his weapon on us. Good Lord. Uh, what did he have? Um, Zippo lighter, pair of panties. Okay, that's odd, but... Um, all right, we'll let them try to treat him. Uh, we should have somebody coming over here to try to treat her, but I don't think either of them are getting up. They got shot multiple times. Uh, Y'all go ahead and do your work. I'm going to go ahead and search it do my work while we're at it. All right. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? What does she have on her? She has a uh, bag of marijuana and some unmarked pills. So really, I mean, Katie Pearl, not much. Uh, can we do a pet check on her? Just just see. Let's see what goes on when they uh, look for her. And yeah, we got shot in the arm there, didn't we? A couple times. Uh, so uh, everything was valid. We got an Andrew Smith. That's what they did. <laughs> yeah, okay. We were checking the EMS guy. So we'll wait on her. CPR failed. Yep, so she's dead. Uh, let's see about this guy up here. Um, they're still tending to his body, but I'm not expecting it to work. No, nope, they're, uh, they're already getting up, all resigned to what happened. So, goodness. Well, we don't have any charges to write up. We do need to get the coroner out here, though. So, let's call for that. Uh, request the coroner. All right, so Katie Pearl, deceased by a handgun. Uh, we're not seeing a hit on him, but I'm sure that'll happen eventually. We also got a new coroner. As you see, again, just got this off lspdfr.com. Comes with a couple skins. I use the sheriff skin because I like it. I just like that fingerprint on it. Looks cool. So we'll see how this acts. I don't think I have any other better corner script, uh, but I think actually with Stop the Pet, it comes with kind of better stuff, if I'm not mistaken. Like they're going to get a stretcher the whole nine yards. So, uh, yep, pretty cool. I haven't actually taken a look in the side of the back. Apparently, we, uh, we're just going to just be stacking up bodies. Because uh, there's one there. I think we may have to call a separate corner for her. We're about to find out and see. We'll let them uh, take their pictures, throw him in the body bag. Man, crazy way to end it, wasn't it? So they've got him all bagged up, getting him uh, to the uh, coroner's office. And uh, we're going to make sure that they get this second body. The original complaint was uh, her calling, but it turns out to be her. Uh, so we're gonna make sure they get her out of here too. Then we'll head back. Uh, hey, you know what? There's a station right around the corner there, right around that parking deck. We're just gonna head to that station, do our vehicle report, and uh, we'll see you there here in a minute. Dude, clear off scene. I don't know what you think you're doing here. Weird. Not even freaking stringing. 
All right, so we made it back to the station. Uh, a very dirty vehicle, very dirty, but this one also has some serious damage to it. So we had that uh, Marathon Pursuit earlier. Tried multiple times to, I was trying to point like I had a uh, 5M finger. Uh, multiple uh, collisions trying to uh, pit that Hummer, basically. It wasn't happening, so this is really rough. Our bumpers actually hang on loose when we're driving. You can see it almost about to fall off the car. Uh, most of it from that. Uh, I'm trying to find the gunshot wounds to our vehicle. Uh, we had a few to our arm, as we can see from that last call, but I don't see any gunshots on the Tahoe. Well, I guess that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and check out our court cases. We didn't have anything to write up on that last one since they were all deceased, unfortunately. So we have Mr. John Gibbs. We'll start here. Um, I'd almost forgotten to get him the original ticket, which is what he was being pulled over. The ALPR heading for having an expired driver's license. He's fined $262. We got him a ton of tickets based on the pursuit itself. So he had speeding, careless driving, uh, failure to signal, yield, stop, improper turn. That was actually the main reason we were pulling him over. ALPR hit to an expired license, but he did that jank turn to start and neon glow under lighting. Uh, so let's go ahead and reveal those outcomes. Just a bunch of fines. Gets a total of $1,800 for it. Here's the big one, though. You know, evading the arrest that was by running, leaving the scene of accident, possession of cocaine, drug paraphernalia, and marijuana. Gets him 11 years, 7 months in prison with 13674 in fines. We had uh, the guy that we pulled over. We had to do a uh, arrest report uh, just to get it to work properly, but we, you know, we were releasing him on his own reconnaissance because he just had vandalism. There was a bong. I'm not that worried about it. And then, of course, the warrant for arrest. He's going to end up with, uh, I think because I threw that charge in there, I'm going to stop doing that, that there's a warrant because that's where you got all this stuff. Because let's be honest, for vandalism, drug paraphernalia, that's about accurate. Just get about 4800 bucks in fines, no prison. But sack on an extra three Gs and three years in prison just because of that. So we will not do that in the future. His uh, co-mate here, his battery mate in the vehicle, though, she had a... Uh, we, again, did the warrant for arrest. We'll stop doing that. But she also had the attempted rape. Good Lord. Drug paraphernalia and meth is what she had on her. She's going to get 16000 in fines and eight years in prison. So that is an episode. We appreciate you watching. We're going to be back with some more LSPDFR soon. If you have any recommendations, certainly leave them in the comments below. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and notify. And y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.